So what is flea? Flea is a very tiny external parasite measuring 1 to 5 millimeters in length, dark brown in color, wingless and laterally compressed body. Remember this is laterally compressed, not dorsoventrally flattened. And they are less permanently ectoparasite or temporary ectoparasite because they frequently leave the body of the host. And the body of the flea comprises three portion. The first one is head and the neck and then abdomen. On the head region, the first organ is eye. So the eye is not a compound eye. This is a very simple eye. Sometimes instead of the eye, there should be a spot which is called photosensitive spot. And next to eye, there is a very tiny uh, antenna three segmented and it is located on the antennal fossa and on the head region there is another important structure which is called genal comb so genal comb actually consists of uh, different uh, spines depending on the size and the number of the spine uh, some flea species can be identified and next uh, and mouth part i'll uh, talk about the mouth part later on and after head, uh, the neck is located, neck is divided or there are three segments on the neck region. The first one is pronotum, middle one is mesonotum and the third one is metanotum. So on the pronotum segment, uh, there is another structure which is called pronotal comb. And depending on the size and number of the uh, genal and pronotal comb, some species Hopefully can be identified and on the neck region there are three pairs of legs and the third pair is heavier compared to the first and second pair as a result the fly can uh, jump from the host body or in the on the environment and abdominal uh, abdominal region there are uh, uh, 10 segments on the abdominal region so targum 1 to targum 10 one can easily identify uh, eight segments externally and on the ninth segment there is uh, there is a sensory structure which is called sensilium so this is the function of sensilium is very interesting it helps the flea uh, to detect the air movement vibration and the temperature temperature of the host temperature of the environment and odor of the carbon dioxide and urine it has some role in the couple uh, in uh, that is it has some role during copulation and that's all so on the body of the uh, flea there are hair like a structure they are like a structure they are known as sedi and depending on the size and depending on the shape of the body one can easily find the sex of the female so if you look at this picture, you can see the dorsal surface is curved and the ventral surface is also curved. And if you look at the other picture that is this one, you can see the dorsal surface is almost flat, but the ventral surface is greatly curved. So for the first picture, if you can see the dorsal, both, both the dorsal and the ventral surface is curved, you can consider the sex of the flea is female but if you get the ventral and the dorsal sorry mm -hmm. the, the dorsal surface is almost flattened or flat and the ventral surface is greatly curved in that case the sex of the uh, flea would be male and in this picture this is the spermatheca part of female genital organ and this one is the claspers part of male genital organs uh, mouth part and the feeding mechanism mouth part includes a maxillary pulp and a labial pulp there is no uh, mandible and labrum epipharynx the grouped one is very developed one and there are two other lacini so with the help of two maxillary lacini and the labrum epipharynx a uh, stylet or fascicle will be formed and there is a hypopharynx which is very short and 
Did, uh, the mouth part is overall piercing and sucking mouth part. The function of the maxillary palp and the labial palp in the feeding feeding mechanism is to locate the feeding site. And when the fascicle is pushed towards the feeding site for sucking the blood, the cutting action is done by the maxilla because they have the tooth-like structure. And afterwards, uh, from the hyperpharynx to labrum hyperpharynx, the saliva will come through the feeding site and on the same way, the blood will be sucked up. So there are two pumps work here. The first one is cribarial pump, which will suck the, blo suck the blood off to the pharyngeal region. And later on, from the pharyngeal region to the midgard, blood will be pushed by the pharyngeal pump. And most of the flea feed only for a few minutes before moving to another part of the host. Morphological adaptation of a flea or morphological modification. So due to the morphological modification, flea gets some benefit over a host. So what are those morphological adaptation? The first one is the body is laterally flattened or compressed. As a result, the flea can move through the body coat of the animal very easily. And the second characteristic is third pairs of the legs are heavier compared to the first and second pair. As a result, the, uh, the flea can jump. So they can jump from the host body to the environment or one place to another place. One of the important features has been observed in case of the Genopsilla tupis. So this flea can move even after 31 centimeter in a single jump. And the next morphological adaptation is short antenna. So we know that the short antenna is resist or located on the antennal fossa. As they are not erected, so they don't create any friction during movement through the body coat of the animal. And the third and, and the next uh, important another feature is seti and the combs. So you know the seti hair-like structure distributed all over the body of a body of flea, and they are directed backward and the genital comb and the pronator comb they are also directed backward as a result these structures don't create any friction during forward movement and very interestingly this seti and combs impair the flea being dragged backward by the host activities and if you look at this picture you can see the body is uh, carved uh, the, the dorsal, that is the dorsal side and the uh, ventral side is cut. As a result, they don't create any friction or they helps in the forward movement of the flea through the body coat of the host. And some of the flea, they are also known as the burrowing flea. They can borrow the skin and they will attach at, uh, at the site of, uh, attach there uh, for a considerable time by the aid of barbed mouth parts. So these are the morphological uh, modification by which uh, the flea can get some benefit over a host.